the treatment of Trump. Uh, I'm not a Trump supporter, by the way. I'm even less of a, of a Hillary Clinton supporter, but that's another matter. Uh, but it was a particularly egregious, politically inspired uh, censorship. Uh, Donald Trump was claiming I was robbed in the election. I've claimed that many times in elections myself, uh, and uh, sometimes I've been right. Uh, but the idea that you, you're censored for that when you're the elected president of the United States, it really was crossing a Rubicon, wasn't it? Well, it really was. And it's what I've described as being the single worst year for censorship in American history. This last about a year, year and a half. And we saw in early 2020 where people were raising concerns about COVID and pointing out all the evidence saying that it was from a lab in Wuhan, which Spoiler alert, George, it did come from a lab in Wuhan, or as we saw even moving into the summer uh, or even into the, the early fall with the Hunter Biden laptop scandal, the fact that you had both big tech and big media collude, actively collude to shut down and censor that story. And that was a massive disaster. In fact, upwards of one out of every six Biden voter said after the election, they would have reconsidered their vote and gone a different direction if they knew about the, the decades long allegations of grift and corruption within the Biden family. And then of course they deplatformed President Trump altogether in January. And so this is- uh, And then there was the Hunter Biden uh, laptop story that, that turned out to be absolutely true, but was completely suppressed. Uh, as completely as any dictatorship could ever have suppressed the story. 